Founding message is key. It has to inform, persuade, and engage the consumers. And the medium? Well, let's just say that it has changed drastically. Going away from the traditional to the technology-driven. Digital display is the new name of the game. Delivering content that is both compelling and eye-catching. At the forefront of this advertising revolution in the country is a company that transforms your brand messages into captivating digital displays. I'm RJ Ledesma, and our bright idea here is Innovation International. Display solutions have to evolve and go digital. Creating captivating displays that come in all shapes and sizes and leading the charge for the new technology is iNuvation. President and CEO Jason So, as well as Chief Operating Officer Billy So, share with us how they cemented their spot as the leading digital display provider in the country. How did you go about putting together how the company initially started? It's really hard because uh, from the start, I really have to go to Hong Kong, Singapore, I have to check uh, a lot of exhibitions, convention, expos. I do my own research because totally I don't have any idea on the electronics. Tell me about the first time you had your first digital setup over here in the Philippines. How was that like for you? Uh, okay, I started October 2011, right? Yeah. I closed my first project um, on June of 2012. So imagine how many months of hardship, how many months of, uh, you know, you know. Selling and hustling. Yeah, yeah. There, huh? And uh, the first client I got is a fashion brand company in the Philippines. He's a known fashion brand. With static displays still the norm at that time, a paradigm shift in the digital displays was not without challenges. A client will like the concept. Upon submitting the proposal, they will say it's too expensive. And the market is not mature yet. For this, okay. If I say we, we are in a niche market, at that time, seven years ago, I think it's really no market at all. People think that this is a luxury product that we don't really need on our developments or on retail shops. Okay. So that's quite a challenge. So how did you address that? There, so you said there are two issues. Number one is it, it was very high priced. And then uh, number two, the market wasn't ready. I have to really prove to client why the price is like this. At that time, I have to let them realize this is not a want. This is a need for your, for your brand, for your development to be known, to add energy to your store, to, okay. to you know, if you will come to think ROI-wise, it's, it's worth it, it's worth it. Because if you invest on this, after five years, you can, you can still use it. Okay. You don't have to spend a lot of um, production stuff, right? With the screen, you can play a lot of message, uh, a lot okay. of advertisements, right? Okay. The main challenge that I saw was the acceptance of clients. Um, number one, because of the price. Uh, number two, because of techno the technology. So right now, um, even five years back, uh, we're already in the digital age, right? So that is where we concentrated our uh, focus on, on the digital industry, on the technology, you know, trying to bring, bring in the best product, the newest or latest um, product in the market. So with that, I believe um, we were able to convince our clients um, and more clients after that. So, uh, so snowball na after that. Yes, time. yes, okay. something like that. Yeah, and then I guess it's the service that we provide. No, um, we we really uh, make sure that number one we provide the highest quality of product. Number two is we always make sure that we give the best service in the industry. Did you see anything external to your business which also helped it grow faster? Actually. Um, Yes, in a way, um, social media plays a very important role. Um, that's why we have uh, Facebook. Uh, we also join LinkedIn. Uh, we do some uh, newsletters for our clients every month, uh, trying to educate them on the nice. digital signage display industry. As digital displays gain popularity worldwide, iNuvation is cashing in on the growing global market. Proud to say that we already installed about uh, one, more than 1,000 projects. Wow. So not only in the Philippines. So recently we got the Hong Kong International Airport 
for Sheila Duty Free Shops. Oh so my goodness, it's wow. really a huge project for us and a big breakthrough for us. Wow. So in the Philippines, you've got more than how many clients right now? In terms of client name, it's more than hundreds. More than a hundred. In terms of projects, because, yes. because every client have several projects, right? So more than about 800. Something. 800. Yeah, yeah. And then in, in Singapore, how many do you have right now as well? In Singapore, we most of the fashion brand as well. And then developments. And developments, really say developments. Yeah, yeah, because well. the Singapore office is the one catering to other Southeast Asia countries. So like ah, so Hong that's Kong. Your, that's, your, that's your job off point yes, to the other yes, countries. Yes. Okay. It looks like that the velocity of uh, innovation is just going faster and faster across the region. So I want to find out what your secret sauce is towards the success of innovation. But let's talk about that right after our break. They say that an image is worth a thousand words. True enough. Studies show that the brain is able to pick up an image 60,000 times faster than it does just your usual text. 50% of the brain is involved in image processing. In fact, it picks up a visual scene in less than a tenth of a second. Talk about going visual. And the wonders of going visual with digital display are limitless. You can even customize it. K. Carlos, Innovations Marketing Manager for Global Markets and Camille Gonzalez, Vice President for Global Market, dish out this secret sauce. We provide digital display solutions for our clients. Mainly, uh, we have LED display, digital signages, and light box. I have to stress out that these products are hard, highly customizable. Okay. Um, it depends on the necessity or the, the requirements of the client. How did you know how to start increasing the number of solutions that you had so that it would meet what the client wants? Well, we also learn from our clients if, for example, a retailer needs something um, out of the box. So we, we uh, assess their needs, what, what will be the application, what will be the purpose of this digital signage. And then we recommend, we of course customize it, depends on their needs. Now if you look across your different clients, um, what do you see is the profile, uh, there, if you cut across them? How much percent are in retail or development, would you guys know? With our company, majority of our clients are in the retail industry. Mm -hmm. Um, second to uh, that would be the advertisers. From fashion to real estate development to retail, you name it, they've handled it. Innovation has helped various businesses convey their messages by providing targeted solutions for clients. Have there been any market-centric solutions you guys have developed? For example, uh, you've talked to a, a customer, he needed a specific solution which you didn't have so you guys had to innovate and develop something which once you developed it you all of a sudden found out other clients also wanted the same solution okay yes uh, we do have an experience like that for PLDT mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it should be just a, a normal interactive kiosk but uh, as we develop with our conversation and sit down meetings with them we they wanted to have a self-serving payment kiosk so when we say a self-serving payment kiosk it with, a just, with just a click of a finger, they would be able to see their billing statements and be able to print it out through a thermal printer. Wow! So how did you go back now and, and tell the team that you needed something like this one? How did they go after? We have a team for research and development. We talk about it, we develop mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and then we design it, and we manufacture it, produce it, and then we make a something like a mock-up. It's a prototype. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a prototype. Yeah. So how assured are they of you? Uh, what, what do you guys, what sort of quality assurance do you provide to the client that, that everything works well, that you'll come back if they've got any problem? Product is primary for us. Mm -hmm. So whenever we deliver anything to our client, mm -hmm. we have to quality control it. We have to test it mm -hmm. in our factory outside the Philippines mm -hmm. and in the Philippines. So all of our products, it undergo different tests. Second is quality on service. Uh, it is very important that innovation is good in terms of after sales. We maintain our products, our projects quarterly, so that's four times a year, and we serve our clients 24 7 with four hours response time. Innovation takes pride in creating a lot of firsts in the country's digital display landscape. And being a truly innovative company, expect Innovation to come up with more groundbreaking products in the years to come. 
What have been your more notable projects that you guys have done? Well, aside from the recently completed one with Hong Kong International Airport, mm -hmm. we've done a lot of firsts in the country. Mm -hmm. We have our first seamless LED display for uh, city center Baguio City. We have our projects outside the Philippines. We have in Paris and Macau. Uh, Football Republic in Malaysia and we also did a project in Solaire. It's the biggest yet in the Philippines with a total dimension of 1,318 square meters. Wow, that's an incredibly big sign, I see. When we look back at your company, I think one of the key things you guys are very good at is actually technology acquisition to create more product solutions for your clients. Tell me a bit more about that one. Okay, so um, in terms of uh, products, um, we are an innovation company. Mm -hmm. So we have to continuously create and develop. So with LED display, um, we are using now an aluminum die-cast cabinet. So when you use that kind of material, that is better in terms of heat dissipation and also lightweight. When you have a lighter weight screen, that means you can save a lot in terms of shipment and structural cost. I understand. Another technology that we first launched in the Philippines is the wind through series. So when we say wind through series, from the word wind through, the wind passes through the screen. Oh, wow. So okay. it's meant for an outdoor application. It's not like the typical mesh type of LED screen that we see. Uh, because it's it's something that is well thought in terms of wind circulation design and the sunlight at the back cannot be seen in the front and so it creates better image quality. And aside from that, another thing is that we're happy to actually uh, launch our 1.2 millimeter pitch LED screen. So it's we are con we are now offering it to the market and hopefully we get another first in the Philippines. Wow, great. So you guys are are, uh, are a record for all the different firsts when it comes to digital LED screens. But I think the more important question now is where do you guys go next? But before we answer that question, let's go to the break. If you don't think that digital displays make much of a difference, think again. Studies show that this medium increases by 75% the likelihood that the consumer will make an impulse purchase. From attention to conversion. Now that is a win-win. Sort of like it's like a gray space where, where you can keep on adding. The pie is growing. The pie yeah, is basically yeah, growing yeah, for yeah. digital LED screens. But despite that, I'm sure that you guys have sort of a competitive advantage versus your, versus the other people uh, who are competing for that same bid. What do you guys have uh, in that realm? For us, no, um, what we have is, uh, of course, we have our very diligent uh, uh, back-end support. Mm -hmm. no? So from our engineers to our technical guys to our business developments, at the same time, um, all of our people are licensed. Okay. So we have licensed civil engineer, licensed electrical engineer, and all of them are also in-house. So I think that's the key factor here. So what really stands out is really the, the quality of the company. Exactly. Oh, what's, what's standing yes. behind the company exactly. um, as a whole. Do you still find that competition also belongs to the uh, out-of-home billboards that are out there? These, these other traditional means of advertising. Mm -hmm. Do they also provide competition for you guys? Yes, I believe so. Yes, yes. Um, you know, the, the main difference of uh, out-of-home static, like for example, billboards that has tarpaulins with mm. the digital that we, oh. we offer, um, the main difference is we're catching more uh, customer experience, so engagement of the clients. So I believe that is one of the reasons also why our clients come to us for digital is because they're looking for that uh, added benefit to them. Tell me about yes. your competition now in these other countries, especially since you guys are based over here and you've okay. got just an office over there. Good question. Like, for example, in one project in Singapore, we bid it for the project. During the briefing, I attended the briefing, we are 41 companies. The usual competition in the, in the Southeast Asia Pacific region, really um, tough, I can say. So when we jump into Singapore, a lot of clients were telling me, Jason, why, why Singapore? Mm -hmm. They're so advanced. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, but but for me, it's a it's a challenge that I have to prove to to the people who. Uh, in fact, there's a critics. There's some critics saying uh, you won't succeed in Singapore, right? But for me, I have to raise the flag of Philippines, right? Okay. As a Filipino Chinese, I have all the Filipino employees. As Billy said, we have licensed engineers. Okay. We have great people in the company. So I want to prove to them that no, a Filipino company can shine in Singapore. Through firm partnerships, continuous innovation, and quality service, 
iNuvation is well on its way to fulfilling its goal of conveying messages anywhere in the world. What is the overall vision for iNuvation? So I always want to give employees opportunities to travel around and prove themselves out of the country. Okay. So since the day one I started the company, I told myself when I, when I presented to clients, I see the, the excitement, right? So I told myself, I want to bring this excitement to international market, to international competition mm -hmm. with the Filipino team. So until today, every time I, I had a meeting with my team, I always let them feel that oh, right now, the vision and the dream that we are saying seven years, five years ago, it's happening now. Where do you see the company in the next five years? So for the next five years, I'm looking at more, more and more demands coming. People are more open. Um, clients are more open-minded now because they now understand that, okay, the upfront investment is higher, but the ROI is shorter, and then we can use it for long, longer term, right? Mm -hmm. And then for international market, I can say, um, right now we have office in Singapore. Uh, I said 2016, we opened office in, in Singapore. Uh, 2017, we op opened an office in Cebu, okay. and also in Hong Kong. Wow. So that's why you also got the Hong Kong International Project because of Hong Kong International Airport project, because of the Hong Kong office, that we were saying that we're moving and we're bringing the technology and our skills to Hong Kong as well. And then for the coming years, um, right now we have inquiries from, from Sweden, from London. So I'm really aiming to move into European market and US market wow, as well. Amazing. Yeah. Guys, again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank congratulations. You. Great Thank way you, to wave the Filipino flag, not just here in yes. Asia, but yeah. the rest Thank of you. the world. Hopefully, when I can reach a scale of your company, I'm able to hire your services at a discount as well to write LED. Guys, again, we'll give you a good discount. Right? <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Digital displays have aided businesses in informing and engaging consumers. And as technology continues to improve, expect a whole new crop of messaging solutions to be introduced in the market. The possibilities are endless. I'm Arzila Desma. Join me again next time for another Bright Idea.